Shalom Akim. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing his work and to Syrian truth. And I had a, a simple ass uh, uh, family member, okay, sent me um, this um, um, little snapshot, okay, that was on Facebook. You know, I, I don't really deal with Facebook though, but he sent me this snapshot of um, an article. Actually, it was the front page of um, the Army Times, and it's and it reads, "Bringing back the draft, right? The volunteer force can't do it all, you know." Is mandatory service the solution, right? Okay, so now you know in the picture here, you know, you know, on your um, left hand side, you know, you got a a teenager or so called teenager here, or or you know what they call a millennial, okay, which is um, you know, the um, kids that were born, you know, in the early two thousands, so to speak, you know. They're they're basically the prime target for um this draft that's about the that's about to come into fruition, okay? And then on the right hand side you have the same guy he's dressed in uh, army gear, you know, and um this is the times that we're coming in, okay? For a lot of these uh, uh, uh these uh wild uh, beasts, okay, all right, these jakes, you know, and any other heathens man that that are U.S. citizens man, okay? Draft is coming, you know. And there's a, um, a reply at the bottom. And it says, go ahead, let the tears fall, you weak millennial snowflakes. You know? And, um, you know, that's about the right statement, man. Because a lot of these, 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 these jakes, you know, coming up, man, they're weak, man. You know? You know, they into the ways of, of, of America, man. You know, the ways of Babylon. You know? They, they are, uh, you know, they're copper tops, you know? They they into uh 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 this folly, man, you know. But uh Yahweh Bashim Abashah man has a purpose for you, man. Okay? Alright? Because you're gonna go into the draft, man, and you're gonna be cut off by slaughter, man. Okay? Thus say the strip scriptures. You know? So I just wanna pull out uh a couple of precepts, you know, concerning this this matter, you know, which is which is gonna come to come to pass, you know? Which is gonna come to pass. Alright? Um Let's see. Salakia. First scripture is Sirach chapter 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty, you know, and, and that's the point right there that I want to get, you know, because, you know, this country has a large number of, of army veterans that are homeless, man, you know, and this, this place, man, this is how you know this man's the devil, man, you know, because here it is, man, he doesn't even take care of the people that serve this country, you know, and then these, these, these Edomites have, a, have, have, have the audacity to get upset when a few jakes are, 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 are protesting against the national anthem. And then you want to flip it and, and talk about, you know, their disgrace um, for our troops and, uh, and, 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 and our, our military men. But look, you don't even take care of your own. You know, this place doesn't even take care of their own, man. And, and you expect people to willingly join this, the service, you know, you know, because right now they have a lot of programs that is available to where they're giving these jakes because a lot of jakes are, are, are entering the uh, military man and they're giving them uh, incentives man you know as far as our uh, uh, um uh uh hey um reserve notes you know federal reserve notes you know they're offering them money they're offering them uh, uh, uh money for schooling you know to entice these uh these young jakes man and they they're catching them while they're in high school you know but scriptures say man Hey, Yahweh, 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 said that two things that make him, that grieve his heart and the third make him angry. One of them is that a man of war that suffered poverty, man, you know, and that's all you see in the streets is, is, is veterans, man. You know, they don't even get proper, uh, uh, health care in this country, man, you know, you know, but, um, 
there's a couple of precepts that I want to pull, man, that's going to talk about your demise, man. All right. Of entering this military service. OK. You know, this is. um. Jeremiah 51. Verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might have failed. They became as women. They have burned their, her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. You know? And that's that time to come for here, man. You know? Because this place is slated for nuclear destruction, man. Okay? All right? Right? Verse 31. One post shall run to meet another and one messenger to meet another to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken on one end, you know, and the passengers are stopped in the reeds they have burned with fire and the men of war are frightened, you know, and that's that time to come, man, because this place will be taken out, man, you know, and these are talking about the men of war being a frightened, man, you know, all right, you entering into the draft is going to be for naught, man. It's not going to be for the, to the benefit of, of, of for Babylon, man. Okay, you know. Verse thirty three. For thus say Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her. Yet a little while, and the time of our harvest shall come, man. And that's the time to come, man. This place is going to be a threshing floor, man. You know, the Lord said that you're not going to be able to lay one, one, one corner. You're not, not going to lay, lay one corner to a, for a foundation, man. Okay. All right. This place is going to be utterly destroyed, man, by thermal nuclear fire, man. You know, you know, so, you know, these are uh, 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 young Jakes, man. These are the heathens that are U.S. citizens, man. It's going to come to naught, man, for you joining the uh, military, man. But it's but you're slated to uh, uh, enter in, man, for your own destruction, man. You know. This is going to be for your own destruction, you know, and that is the judgment that's going to happen in Babylon. Now, here is the judgment that's going to happen on the other side of the world. OK, where a lot of used people are going to be shipped to. OK, you know. Because the Lord said he's going to gather uh, 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 all, all of the men in the, um, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, man, you know, so this is um. Second entrance chapter 13 and 3, right? Okay. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong and with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were under him. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai when he comes back, man. Okay. All right. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Like as earth faileth when it, the fire, when he filleth the fire, man. You know, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number, out of the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea, man. And that's that multitude of men is those, those these armies that are going to be fighting over there. OK. All right. And and um, and Wars War three. OK. All right. All right. Yeah. How is going to come crash that little party, man? OK. You know, right. Verse six. But I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew upon it, man. And that's that chariot, man, you know. But when I could have seen the region or place where, where out the hill was graven, and I could not. So that's how big, big the, the, uh, the chariot was. It was as a big graven, it was a big, like a big mountain. Okay, all right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said that every eye shall see him, man, you know, right. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to, to, to subdue him were so afraid. Yes, there's fight, you know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to harden their hearts, man, to fight against him, man. You know, he wants you to put up some type of fight, man, so he can destroy you. Okay? All right? So so you people that's, that's going to enter into that draft, man, we're reading your, 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 your uh, uh, well, I'm prophesying right now to your demise right now. Okay? Right? Verse 9, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth 
as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, man. You know, and that's talking about those laser beams, man. You know, and, and that's what's going to destroy you people, man. Okay, all right. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which, which was prepared to fight, and burned them up, every one, so that upon a sudden of the innumerable multitude, nothing was perceived. But only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. So, so Ezra had this vision. Was given this vision. Okay, all right. Uh, 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 of uh, uh, this this uh, great uh, destruction. Okay, upon the multitude of men that that are gonna uh, have it in their heart to to fight against you. How was shy when he comes back, man? You know, and when he saw this, man, he was so afraid, man. Okay. Because this is going to be a, a epic uh, 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 scene, okay, all right, of, uh, of utter destruction, okay, upon the multitude, man, you know, so that's that time to come, man, you know, so this is, this is your, um, your um, judgment, okay, for you wicked ass two thirds, man, and you heathens, man, you know, right, and I want to close it out, you know, and, um, let me get um Obadiah. Let's go with the uh ninth ninth verse. And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed, to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Okay? Alright? It should be cut off by slaughter, man. And this didn't happen already, man. Because you, 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 you people out there trying to say that uh, uh, Edom and Esau was um, done away with. So you got to tell me when that was. You know, you're not giving us no dates. Okay. All right. This is a future prophecy. This is what's called the, the, the spirit of prophecy. Okay. All right. All right. Because you don't have no type of understanding, man. Okay. All right. This is the, that time to come. Okay. And, and it's going to tell you why. Verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Okay, so that's your your judgment. Okay, all right. Anybody that that's gonna join their, um, themselves unto this damn man, you're gonna be cut off too, man. You know. But chiefly, uh, uh, Edom, Esau, man. Okay, because he's the one that's behind this whole uh 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 um is putting him up to this in, in the spirit to do the things that he's doing in the earth, man. You know. Okay. So after you get finished, uh, 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 you, you, the height of your wickedness, man, you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, so, uh, you know, just just a little uh, thing here that I want to put in here concerning um, this uh, uh, um, Army, Army Times newspaper. OK, you know, concerning uh, um, them bringing the draft back, man. So let's talk about it now, man. So this is going to come into fruition, man, because obviously this army is, is, is worn, worn out, man. You know, they've been fighting since the Iraqi war, man, since since 9-11, man. Okay? You know? Now you're going up against all these other armies, man, that 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 are are, are fresh, that are fresh, man. You know? They they they're they they are they are not war bat they're not uh, uh, beaten down by war for all these years, man. You know? So you gotta get that they need that fresh batch of uh, of uh, um of lost souls, man. You know, the best fresh batch of of of, of copper top um zombies, man. You know, to fight this war for them, man. You know, you know, and, and you know, listen, man, you jakes, you two third jakes, man, you ain't doing that anyway, man. So you might as well just go ahead and 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 and, and be destroyed, man. You know, okay, because this is going to be your future right here, man. You know, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing his work in sincerity and truth. Shalom.